Good evening, everybody. During this primary, those who hold power have incorrectly and disappointedly told voters that there are three choices for their next District 3 congressman. While Eddie, Maxine, and Sushila are amazing public servants, they're not the only choice. And moreover, they may not be the, the best fit. This process of narrowing candidates for the voting public is both outdated and somewhat nonsensical. It premises viability on the amount of money raised and on the number of endorsements that come from electeds. Those are great endorsements, those are to be respected, but those two qualifiers do not judge a person's viability to hold office in Congress. The narrowing of candidates is also offensive to the community leaders who have endorsed folks like myself, and it's offensive to people who want to be involved with politics and have a barrier to entry based on being well-connected politically, being independently wealthy, or being endorsed by others who are coming off of office like they are. The truth is that I'm potentially the most viable of the bunch, whatever the hell, excuse my language, the word viable means. I'm a small business attorney with an executive MBA. I'm a small business owner and nonprofit volunteer. Through Rational Unicorn Legal Services, a law firm that I built from scratch, I helped thousands of small businesses, nonprofits, and creatives. Last year, I was chosen by the Portland Business Journal as one of their 40 under 40 honorees. I was also chosen by the SBA, the Small Business Administration of the United States, as the Small Business Champion of the Year for the state of Oregon. The point of highlighting these awards is to tell you that I'm the guy that gets into structures that exist, says we're not doing the things like we did them, and then gets to work. You see, this is a job application which hasn't been opened since 1996. We're not asking the tough questions. We're not asking who will build a unique congressional office that is equitable, modern, and efficient. Who knows not just the progressive issues? Who actually knows the industries that are in this district? Who has the ability to hold corporate CEOs accountable, big ag and big pharma? And who will survive the halls of DC with negotiation and mediation skills? So I'm more than viable and I'm ready to be your congressman. And if you don't believe that, I'm gonna give you a couple of quotes from folks. I'm running out of time. Here's one. Michael has shown up as a strong supporter for the black community every time he was asked without ever once asking for anything in return. He's shown up to support the black business community. Thank you so That's much. from the executive director of the Black American Business Chamber. Thank you. 